hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great today if it is your first time here my name is mc i'm into luxury fashion and lifestyle related contents so if you like this kind of topics don't forget to subscribe turn that red bell on for new videos without further ado let's just go ahead and start two bags to compare today the first bag is the louis vuitton pelisi pochette and this second bag is the fendi mini baguette both are not made of leather the pelisi pochette is in the monogram canvas as you can see while the fendi mini baguette is made of jacquard fabric with an ff motif with embroidery and this definitely is not a coated canvas while this one is obviously a coated canvas as you all know so both are in gold metal hardware with removable straps with flap opening but the baguette is with a magnetic button closure whereas the felici pochette is just a plain button closure sorry guys if you can hear noise in the background my neighbor is having a party right now and I can't stop in the middle of my filming because I started first. <laughs> anyway, that's how it is. Um, as to the internal compartments, the Felici Pochette has a fabric lining, sort of burgundy in color with a flat pocket and it comes with two removable pouches or inserts as what people call them. And these are great features for the bag because they are reusable uh, they are very uh, functional you can use them for your other bags this one by the way is made of leather it has a pocket right here and four slots on each side total of eight slots and this one is in the monogram but the inside is leather as well this bag is made in italy so again this is the front this is the side the back and the other side on the other hand the fendi mini baguette I haven't removed the sticker yet. It has unlined internal compartment with just one small packet right here as well. And no extra or other added features like the Felici Pochette. And this one is made in Italy. This is the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So like I mentioned earlier, both have removable straps but not adjustable. Let's compare the length. Pochette is a little bit shorter and thinner in strap compared with the mini baguette. I'm going to make some mud shots in a while. What I love about the chain of the mini baguette is the shoulder strap. This will prevent your shoulder from getting hurt, especially when your bag is loaded with so many stuff this is surprisingly roomy guys believe me now in addition to the shoulder pad the handle is also removable so you can use it as a clutch whereas the felice pochette doesn't have any handle categorically the fendi mini baguette is really a bag it's considered a bag because of the top handle whereas the felice pochette has no top handle at all uh, they're very comparable because of the size, quality, and wearability. I'm going to show you what fits inside each bag in a while. Even the color, the color combinations are very similar from dark brown with brown. The Louis Vuitton and Fendi motifs 
Uh, this one is the monogram print and this one is the Zuko print. So they're both beautiful prints. And they can also be easily recognized because of this. Now these bags can be worn in so many ways as shoulder bags, as crossbody bags, and as clutch. But this baby right here, which has a nice handle, you can carry it by hand like so. And it's really, really very girly for me. And there's more. You can use it as a belt bag, which is really, really amazing. It might sound cliche, but belt bags are really, really good if you are looking for a convenient, hands-free way to carry any important items like wallet, small wallets, keys, hand sanitizers, or face masks. And when you go shopping or even you travel, when you travel, you can easily slip your passport. I can absolutely wrap this one as a belt bag, but with the Felici Pochette, I'm not really sure, but they say it's doable. I just don't see the size uh, nice for me to see as a belt bag. So for other people, yes, maybe, but for me, I don't like to wear this as a belt bag. You can definitely see, let's just remove the handle first. The Felici Pochette is a little bit longer so the length of the mini baguette is a bit shorter. Not too much of a difference in the height. The obvious difference is the width. The mini baguette is wider than the Felici Pochette, which is a big pro for this bag. Both can fit the iPhone Pro Max, which is definitely a concern for most people when it comes to mini or small bags. So if you are a small bag lover, these are considered day or everyday bags. These are very uh, practical everyday color and it can easily match any plain outfits. But the mini baguette, you can probably use it as a night bag or party clutch. Also because the clasp makes it like a statement piece, if you get what I mean. The Felici Pochette, on the other hand, is very casual and really just a day piece for relaxed informal look and outfit so let's talk about what fits inside Put your big phone in there you will not be able to fit anything except this flat insert for some cards and bills it has two inserts but you cannot use both with the phone in it you don't want to stretch the bag right without the phone you can definitely add some basic essentials like a lipstick perfume and the insert or a card holder or even a mini wallet that's all you're gonna get not much else
but the mini baguette while it's a mini bag i was surprised that it can fit a lot of daily essentials plus that big phone without any issue it just slips right in so easy that's because this one is a fabric and uncoated Felice is a coated canvas so it has its limit and this is more structured in addition this one is made slimmer so the capacity is quite limited it's my go-to errand bag nevertheless and I love using it so much because it's cute easy to maintain including the chain strap which hasn't tarnished or faded yet hopefully it will not it's a carefree bag and you know what I just toss it anywhere a lot <laughs> but i can't really see wear and tear yet so the baguette is just a new piece and i have just barely used it just once but i am sure it's a durable bag easy to use and most importantly versatile so you can check the link of my unboxing video if you're interested yeah what i can say is i really love the look of the fendi mini baguette very iconic cute and classy so both are entry level bags well yeah so the mini baguette of course is much expensive than the felici i do recommend both especially to those who are starting to build their luxury handbag collection they really are great starter pieces and if i will rate each piece the felici pochette gets 8 over 10 while the mini baguette is 9 over 10 8 over 10 for the Felici because of the capacity issue and versatility, yeah. And for the mini baguette, 9 over 10 because of the price. It's still considered expensive. I do love both. I have my own purpose when it comes to usage uh, for each bag. And so I don't have any regret in buying them brand new from the store. So let me know which one do you like more. The Louis Vuitton Felici Pochette or the Fendi Mini Baguette. That's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. So I'll see you on my next one. Bye.